got here? Let's, I don't know what those damn things were. I don't know what those were for. Maybe that's so it can't come out. What do y'all think these screws were in here for? On the inside. Maybe we should read the, read the instructions. Let's do that. Let's read the instructions and we'll be right back. Alrighty now, that's how she goes. I don't know what those screws were for. Does anybody know what those green screws are for in the back of that thing? Who knows what that's for? I ain't got a clue. We'll see. and uh, see if we can maneuver ourselves into position to fix this thing. And the wind's blowing me today, so I don't know how easy this is going to be. Let's see. It's probably going to end up being turned around the other way, but I am right-handed, so this is kind of the way I need to be. Where is my damn thing? Right there. Can we put the canoe right there? Maybe we can lock the canoe under there. Okay, let's take off this old one. The power is off, by the way, folks. There's no, no power turned on to this box. canoe with me and on me. They look like small black ants so I really doubt that they are going to bite. <laughs> oh I didn't expect that. I almost flipped over. They're little black ants. They're probably those sugar ants. Let me uh, while well, I'm fighting the wind here. <laughs> what do I do about this? Feed them to the fish. All their eggs. Ants be gone. Ants be gone. Get out of here, ants. How'd the ants get out of here? I guess they crawled across the dock. I don't know. This this dock doesn't go to the land. This dock does not go to land. There's not a deck, there's not a walkway to, to land. You have to step across the water to get onto the dock. So how'd the ants get out here, I wonder? And what are they living off of? I hope they don't bite. Well, we gotta get work. We gotta get to work. I can't wait for ants to leave. Let's see what we gotta do here. To get this. Oh, they're taking their eggs. They're trying to get the heck up out of here. Yeah, y'all got to go. It's my place. I live here. Oh, there's a lot of eggs in there. Holy cow. Come on, guys. Y'all get on up out of here. Just cut this part and get it out of the way real quick. Fish will love that. I guarantee those there's some fish down here that will really like to have that for lunch. And these ants got to go. Hopefully they're not termite ants. Well, termites kind of do look like ants. Let's get the uh, Whoops, fell in there. I don't want that in there. I lost a wire. Let me get these wire nuts off and uh, get the ants out of them. I haven't been bitten yet. I don't want to be. Tomorrow I'll wake up, I'll have little red bumps all over me with these damn ants. I'm, I mean, they're all in the boat. They're, they're, they're everywhere. Ants, 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 ants. I have ants all over my pants. 
let me uh, try to clean this out just a little bit. Boy, look at those eggs. Those are lots of ants. Let's get those out of there. Come on, guys, get off of me. Ants are all me. They're crawling all over my hand. They're all over my, oh my God, ants, ants, ants. Now the wind's gonna blow the boat. What a catastrophe. What did I just call it? A catastrophe? It's, it's a catastrophe. It's a catastrophe. Oh my goodness. Folks, and the boat won't stay. Maybe I should put this rope around there where it should be, but it's not. It's around here. It's over here where I'm at. Um, <laughs> well, well, well. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen. I'm going to end up dropping these screws, so let me get the ants are just going to crawl all over me. Whatever. You really don't want those on you because I saw a video this morning. Y'all know Exo, who Exo Man is and Banshee Moon? Well, Exo Man had something get in his ear. Some kind of a, an insect or something got inside of his ear and living inside his ear for a while. He was finally able to dig it out after about a month or so of pain, I don't know. But uh, yeah, I don't want that to be happening to me. That's for sure. Let's uh, get this together. I can get me a wire tie, wire nut, whatever wire tie. I'll call it a wire tie wire nut. Y'all see them ants crawling all over my fingers? They all on me. Ants, ants, ants. Go away. They're not biting. They're really not biting. I think they're sugar ants. Yeah, come on now. They tickle. I don't want them on me. I'm not interested in having ants crawling on me. Especially while I'm in a canoe trying to balance and work on electricity. Ow, now that one's biting. Okay, that one's biting with his teeth. He had pinchers like that. He was biting. He wasn't biting with it. He wasn't stinging me with his butt, like some, like a lot of stinging things do. But he was definitely biting. Oh boy, I'm, I'm getting bit. I'm getting ants all over me. I may have to abort this mission shortly. I'm being bitten by ants, and there's no telling where all they're at on me. Ants are ants. They got me. Ants are getting me. Uh, okay, let me screw that last tie on there. Get that, get that wire connected. Damn, ants. Uh, push that up in there. Push that up in there like, God, come on now. Let's push that up in there, get it out of the way. And we can, <laughs> let's line that up. Now this is the dumbest thing in the world. The screws that come with this light fixture, flathead. Who makes flathead anymore? Yes, outlaw freaking flathead screws already. We don't, no, nobody on this planet want flathead screws anymore. I'm sure I don't. And I'm sure you don't either. Flathead screws ain't nothing for nobody. They ain't no good. All right, this is difficult to do. I'm, Impossible. Almost impossible. Maybe I should just lay down on the I should lay, lay down lay down on the should I lay down on the deck and do it like that? That might be easier. Well I'm here already, so I'm gonna do it like this. Ah don't drop the damn screw in the lake. If you drop that screw in the lake, you're screwed. I was screwed last night. Wasn't I? Yeah, sure was. Me and screws ain't getting along too well lately. Now, we want to make sure we get this rubber gasket on there. You know, those ants had a really fine, dry, nice place to live in there because I did make this waterproof when I built it. This power box. Don't drop your screwdriver. Man, you about to drop your screwdriver now? Is you crazy? You might be crazy. I think you is crazy. I know I'm crazy. But y'all might be crazy for watching me do this crazy stuff. 
Now, where's that hole at? Does that go through? We got to, nope, that don't go through. You're about to lose your damn screw. Man, this is hard to do with the damn boat moving. You know what? I'm just gonna be smart and I'm gonna get out of the canoe and do this. Let's, uh, let's finish this. <laughs> Can y'all even see where I'm working? Jeez. This is crazy. The wind's, the wind's blowing me what's going on here. I cannot keep the canoe in one spot with that wind blowing me. So, yeah, this is fun. This is real fun. Let's bring this under. You might be a dumbass. You might be a redneck. Okay, let's get that in place there we go now now here we go it just came loose from the dock again uh, all right I'm moving around some more impossible folks I'm about to lose my screw so I right. just uh, right there that's where it's at that's where it's supposed to go screw it in there we go, we got it. Finally, it's working my, going my way now, folks. <laughs> oh boy. The uh, gasket's not in place right over here. I want, I want to have that gasket uh, correct so I don't have to worry about rain getting inside that water box. I do have a drain hole. I made a drain hole on the bottom uh, just in case any water did get in there, it could drain right back out. Man, man, I got ants. I didn't account for ants. I really didn't account for ants. There we go. Now, we're cooking with grease. You know, the old plastic housing just didn't last very long because of the sun. Those little rings that, these little rings that you got, those rings, you tighten those rings to make, um, to tighten it up so you can aim your, you know what I'm saying? You aim, you aim your uh, light to where you want it and then you tighten up that ring so your light doesn't fall. Well, those rings broke. The sun rotted them and the rings broke. Let me try to, I want to aim this light. I want to aim this light. This light is going to go. First of all, why don't I tighten this? Let's go ahead and tighten that up. Now, aim your light where you want it. I want this light to go over there. I actually want it to, to brighten up those trees. I want to be able to see these trees at night. If I can see across the lake, and these, these lights will shine on the trees at night. It gives me a focal point while I'm sitting on the deck drinking whiskey. So I want this light to go over there. I want this light to go over there. And I want these ants to go somewhere else. Man, that's a good one. That's tightened up. All right, but before I tighten that up, what I really should do is tighten this up at the angle I want it, which that's good, that's a good angle. Now let's tighten that retainer ring and get the heck up out of here. I'll come back later and put some, I'll come back later and put some uh, bulbs in it. But for now, that's it, I'm out of here folks. Let's, uh, let's get out of these ants. I have, I'm sure I have ants in my pants. They're definitely all over my shoulder. I need to come down here anyway and take the canoe out of the water. We're expecting storms tomorrow. And I want to pull the canoe out of the water before the storms come. So, I've got ants, man. I got ants. Oh, oh, they're crawling all up my damn. <laughs> wow. 
Okay, let's uh, let's try to get out of this canoe without flipping it. I want to keep those screws right there. Uh, well, <laughs> I did that. That's pretty good. Whew. Oh, I should have bought that kind to begin with. Let's get this boat in the in the. Uh, let's get this boat pulled up real quick. Push that side out. Pull this side in. The wind would probably be. Wind should just drag that into that canoe right on around. Maybe not. I'll do it with this. Whatever. Let's get it over with. Man. Right in the damn canoe. y'all mounted on a tripod that's zip tied to the seat in the canoe. So, whoo! <sighs> Let's see what we got here. This is how I did my electricity. I run an extension cord down here and uh, I just plug it in here and it goes into this junction box down here underneath this uh, this thing keeps the rain out of there in case I want to plug some little shit in. I can plug it in there. And it's, it goes under here. That wire goes under here. Right on out to the end of the dock. Right down there. Yeah. We'll see you later, folks. I'll just add this to this clip. What the hell. I come out here a lot of times barefooted. I don't want to walk all the way down there. It ain't really that far. I mean, but, you know, I'm lazy, so... I hook me up a damn pulley. I pull on this string. Trash can lid comes open. I can throw the trash in there. We're standing on the deck right here. All I gotta do is pull on that string. Just like that. Ta-da! Same thing with my recycle bank recycle can. Got a string on it. All I gotta do is flip it up. Pull on the string, flip it up, throw my recycles in there, and I'm done with it. That's a, uh, yeah, bye folks.